Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky, and uh, I have been really busy lately as I have been helping my parents move house. Um, and that's kind of what I did all day yesterday. But I am now um, out of town and uh, letting them set up their house, and I got an opportunity to uh, record some RuneScape. So that's what I'm going to do. And I have been being asked for, you know, recording a bank video quite a bit lately. I'm not really sure why. I think I did a bank video about a month and a half or two months ago. Um, and the bank hasn't changed too much since then, although I have sold my Slayer tab since then, and um, I have started PVMing a little bit, and with some plans to do more of that in the future just to earn some money. Um, I do have some plans that are going to require a lot of money, but uh, I don't know if I should talk about those quite yet, because um, I never really like to uh, talk about a plan unless I know for sure I can go through with it. Um, but yeah, I I have plans that require money, so I will be PVMing um, a bit in the near future to earn some of that. So anyway, the first tab here, um, I have some a uh, cooking urns because this is what I do when I am trying to AFK. So anytime I'm working on video editing or I just need to relax, uh, I do cooking, and that's why I have the cooking urns here. And I bought some extras, and I just need to fill them. I'm a bit too lazy, and of course the cooking gauntlets. And then ports, because I do that every day, so I have my captain's log here, and uh, ring of kinship, because I do uh, dungeoneering every day. Uh, and I get my dungeoneering challenge. And these protea flowers, I used to collect one for every big chinchampa game I did, but I'm uh, not going to do that anymore, because I'm done with Hunter. Um, my next tab here is my farming tab. Uh, I have been planting dwarf weeds, and then, of course, I do a uh, tree run every day, and I plant ewes and papayas and calquats. But dwarf weeds have been fairly profitable. They're worth about 10k each, so it is worth planting them, and that's what I have been planting uh, for my herbs and er earning a bit of money off of that. So that's always nice. And also here I have my collection of buckets and plant pots. Um, I have actually never bought any of these buckets and plant pots. Um, these are all from doing farm runs. So I have about 5,000 buckets and nearly 2,500 plant pots just from doing farm runs. So that should explain, you know, I have done some quite a bit of farming in my past. Um, the next tab here is my uh, magic tab, and mostly I just use this to store my runes, like fire runes and air runes. I use a lot of them for clay swords, and I just use a lot of air runes uh, doing Slayer, um, so that's useful. Um, my next tab here is my potions tab, um, and I have my charms in here too. I just recently made 400 overloads, and that I spent about um, 22 mil on that, so that cost a fair amount. Uh, and then I bought a lot of prayer renewals and super restores, and those are all going to be used for PVMing. And then I bought like a lot of yaks and unicorns and bunyips um, because I use those for PVMing as well. And uh, the rest of my potions tab hasn't really changed much, but I am up to uh, 7,200 crimson charms, which is a lot of crimson charms, and I don't even know if I'll ever use them. But I do keep all the charms I get because I do like to collect them. Here's my Slayer tab, which is now empty, because, of course, I did um, sell all of that recently, which was in a video, but I do have a few things in here. I have, like, this Karask head and this Basilisk head that I got a long time ago when I was really low Slayer level. Um, and I have two Champion Scrolls that are both the Aberrant Spectre one, which is a little unfortunate how I got two Champion Scrolls from the same one. Um, my collection of Ferocious Rings here, only 154. Um, and then I have a blue dragon egg and a black dragon egg. I don't have the green or red ones, and I have a lot of long bones and a few curved bones because I know you can turn those in for construction XP, but when I was training construction, I just kind of forgot to turn them in. And so I figure I'll probably just um, save up these bones after a while. But other than that, uh, absolutely nothing in here just because after I sold my Slayer tab, I have not done any tasks since then. But um, I will get back to Slayer eventually. I just want to, if I am going to do any combat, I want it to be PVM for the time being. Um, and here is like my random junk tab. I keep my Takul in here, and I keep pretty much everything I get off of Squeal of Fortune or quest items in here, or just items that I don't particularly need uh, often, but I do use, uh, like the Desert Amulet 4, for example. It's something that you don't really want to destroy, but at the same time, uh, you don't need it really cluttering up any of your other tabs. Um, I guess I don't really need this cape anymore. Um, I will alk that. I actually alked most of my skill capes because uh, they alk for a fair amount, and I uh, really desperately need the bank space sometimes, uh, especially when you have a full Slayer tab. Um, bank space becomes quite a premium. And then this next tab is my PVM tab. Um, I did one Bandos trip and um, about an hour of QBD, and that's all that's in here. It's only worth about 4 mil or so. Uh, but I have all my books at the top, um, so these are all the books that you get from God Wars. 
um, the Dragonkin journals, and then the History of the Order, which is the book from the New Range Ascension Dungeon. Uh, you can get pages from there, so I figured I'd just put that in here. Uh, and so far, w one crossbow piece from QBD, which is a royal frame, and I also got 200 battle stats from QBD, so that's a pretty good drop as well. Uh, and then my Bandos trip, I got two Godsword shards and 37 kills, which was a bit unfortunate, but... Um, that's kind of what, just what happens when you go to Bandos. Um, and then in this next tab, uh, this is my skilling tab. I actually opened a nest right before I stop, started this video, and I got a U seed from the nest, so that was kind of a win. Um, and I just keep, mostly I keep like pendants and stuff in here, and stuff that I use for getting the strange rocks. Um, one little tip for me, um, for anyone that does strange rocks, is you can smelt silver bars, and it's actually a pretty fast way of getting the strange rocks, and you don't lose any money for the smithing the strange rocks. Because I used to smelt gold ore for the smithing the strange rocks, but you lose like 200 GP per ore, and that can be kind of annoying sometimes. Um, but yeah, I just keep mostly just skilling supplies. I have all my skilling outfits, like I have agile, um, constructors, lumberjack. I never got the lumberjack top, top or bottom. I got really unlucky during Pyramid Plunder. Uh, I have black ibis, the fishing suit, and the golden mining suit. So I have a lot of those um, skill XP boosting suits in there. And here's my last tab, which is my um, gear and setup tab. Um, the majority of my bank is in here. I bought a Dragor mace and a offhand Dragor rapier because uh, the offhand Dragor rapier was cheaper than the longsword, and I think they're about the same damage per second. Uh, so that's what I have been using. And then I also have Armadil in here and Subjugation as well, uh, and Bandos. And I actually need to buy a Varox helm because I sold my Bandos helm uh, to afford an offhand drag or rapier, so uh, yeah, I need to buy a Varox helm really bad because I don't even have a melee helm at the moment, um, but a whole bunch of really useful stuff in here, all my Slayer gear, of course, and just uh, really stuff that you use while PVMing uh, and such. So anyway, that's about all for my bank video. Um, I can't really give a decent price check. But I would say it's roughly around 200 mil. Um, I could withdraw anything, but I, as I recall, you can't price check Dragors when they're degraded, and that's like the majority of my bank, or at least about half my bank, or something like that. Um, but I'm by no means rich, but hopefully I will be able to earn some money through PVMing because uh, I do have plans with that money. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed the fact that I did make a bank video. Um, and if you have any more suggestions of any more types of videos, I am going to have quite a bit of free time uh, for, to make videos in the coming weeks. Uh, and I probably will be making a thieving guide because I've been asked for that a few times. Uh, and some PVM videos as well. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, that's all for this video, and farewell.